Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more FTL Advanced Edition Hard Mode with the Stealth A. And today we are continuing our flight in the Widow, which is, has to be appropriately named, because I have lost two of my crew to giant alien spiders, who knew those things were dangerous. But Lombard and Maxim are flying, and what I have to say is not a very strong layout, although stronger than what it has been here. The charge laser, dual lasers, mini beam are okay, they're adequate, but I'm only at two shields, I'm only at... A few engines. I'm only at cloak two, and we're in sector six, a slug nebula. Now I'm really behind on my actual getting my ship together because I've had to spend so much scrap repairing my ship. And part of that's just misfortune, but part of that's been maybe play that I can clean up that's been a little sloppy. But I did go for the slug nebula despite the dangers that they present, mainly because I need scrap. I need more fights. So here we go. Yes, we're having problems with our oxygen generation unit. Perhaps you can assist us and let's send in a crew. And oh no! As soon as you board their ship, their hostile intentions become clear. The way back to the airlock, one of your crew members is taken out by a well-aimed slug blaster shot. I lost Lombard. I lost. I should have known not to trust the slugs. We are now doing a one crew challenge. My weapons are going to be firing much slower now and I have two shields. So yeah, I make poor decisions like, should I trust the slugs? I probably shouldn't trust the slugs. Okay, so that's two shots. That's a heavy laser. It's coming. I'm going to have to cloak out of it. But they only have two shields, so that is a saving grace. Let's see if I can take down their weapons. Maybe? Yes. All right. Took down that laser, too. So let's, uh, let's do like this. Set them on fire a little bit. I do like the mini beam. It does travel fairly fast. And this will let me charge up my weapons while everything's going on. So hooray! Let's actually fire for their shields this time, I think. That's probably smarter since their pike beam is now out of sync. Let's see, take out the cockpit again just to try and decrease their dodge chance to zero. And didn't destroy their engines, but at least I hurt them a little bit. So, this is fun. I'm down to one crew. I'd love to get more. Like I said, this is a this is one of those runs where you kind of feel like you're dead man walking. You don't know necessarily when it's going to end. You just know that it's going to end at some point. And maybe their ship's on fire. I don't know because it's taken a long time for them to repair that. So at least I did not get pike beamed. That would have been awful. But here we go. Um, I'm not going to be spending scrap to buy more crew because I can't afford to do that. I need to spend too much on my ship. So there we go. Do I let them live? No, I'm not going to accept surrender. You killed my crewmate. I'm not going to let them surrender. Can't do that. I get 44 scrap. I maybe have gotten an item out of it. I don't know, but we'll hit the distress beacon. Maybe that'll kill Maximum, put this run out of its misery. I don't know. So distress beacon, you track the distress beacon with difficulty. One of the six moons on a planet hidden around a nebula. Investigate. I shall join your crew. Say, if you answer me question, how many moons are in orbit here? And we say six. Yay, we get butters. Who? Now, the, one of the Kickstarter benefits was actually getting to name your crew. And Butters actually does have weapon experience, but not as much as the other one. So he's going to be the pilot. But whoever chose Butters is kind of a kind of good, kind of bad. There's two stores here. Those are probably the two stores that are in the sector. So if I go here, I should be able to jump there. I don't want to jump back because I want to play in the Nebula as long as I can. And unfortunately, I'm probably going to need to buy some some stuff here. But three shields. That's bad. We know anyone foolish enough to try and sneak through a Slug Nebula stick, would stick to open space. Yield your goods. We made you live. Blah, blah, blah. And it's slugs. It's not actually uh, people who can board us in danger. But there are a lot of lasers. Oh, you are going to board us. You're going to board me in the O2 room. That's cute. Okay, so we'll just let you play there for a while. He'll probably suffocate before he can do anything unless he has massive combat experience. I'm going to fire my lasers before the burst laser. And I'm going to fire on their lasers. Fortunately, their laser banks are firing pretty much simultaneously. So let's get the mini beam going here. Probably better for me, I hate that the shields and the weapons are on opposite ends, because it's probably better for me to try and take out their cockpit first. But I should really be prudent and do damage to their weapons, or try to. There we go, took out one of their lasers after it fired. Oh, it took out their burst laser, so there we go. Prevented the shot, my sensors are down, that's okay. I, I, I like the little, silhouette that you get now for slug outlines and that is a system bomb so what's gonna happen here is probably this guy's gonna let's get you off of that so they don't have a pilot right now so that 
bodes well for me. Because that means all these shots are going to hit. And if I can aim the mini beam right, I can actually hit both of the crew that are still on there. There we go. Now slugs can see in adjacent rooms as well, and he is going to be trying to escape before the oxygen leaves here. Um, I probably am too late to cloak that, so there goes my med bay. That's two more hull damage I didn't need to take, so that's irresponsible. I have a cloak, I might as well be using it to at least delay their weapons. Let's see here, we do have a pilot again, unfortunately. Let's see if we can change that. And let's hear five fuel. I do need the fuel, so I'm actually going to accept this surrender. And I have 60 something scrap, so that counts for a little bit. Looks like Maxim's going to need some healing, and we need to actually fix everything, too. So, funny how this works out. It's like I lose a crew, I gain a crew. I could have had three crew, technically, if I'd avoided the giant alien spiders and not lost my crew to poor captaining decisions. I could have been in even better shape right now, at least in terms of my crew. Firepower would still be an issue, but you know, it's just how it goes. Repairing the sensors, those are back online. Quick heal, because Maxim, Maxim held his own in combat, at least I can say that. So let's save these locations. Butter's now the pilot. 79 scrap, I may, if the store has a good weapon, I may have to come back in a minute, because right now these weapons are not going to cut it. Flak is good. Burst laser ones, decent. Backup battery would still be nice, but it's got to be the flat gun. It's got to be at this point. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot to sell. And I'm debating, what do I do here? Because the flak is good. The mini beam is really nice. But it's going to be the mini beam or dual lasers that I end up replacing this with. And I, as much as I do like the mini beam, because I can do three damage to a lot of things, but only damage to one at a time. Let's hear that's two four and then three shots. That's a lot to pass up So I need 50 scrap now to actually equip this beast because the flat gun is fantastic The more I use it the more I like it and we do have a lot of jumps here with uh, hostiles, so that's good We'll start down here because that's a guaranteed two and that's where long-range scanners are nice I'm here to try and get more scrap. I need to get better weapons and I need to get three shields eventually, but right now we are, uh, that's a halberd beam, that's, if they do any damage to my shields, they'll be able to punch through, so. And they're just going to go with the quick laser shots here. This layout is kind of like the old standard layout where I have cloaking on one side, weapons on the other. So I will be cloaking before this halberd beam goes off, and that's just going to take a little bit of knowledge. So let's see, oh, no, we're going to cloak before that fire bomb can hit us somewhere. Alright, so I don't like doing that, but... <clears throat> got to and that did cut into my cloaking significantly but let's see if we can set some of these systems on fire maybe I did they're at least repairing their weapons the halberd beam is oh good the halberd beam I timed that well enough so they did cloak so they'll probably get some repairs in time they can take out my med bay all they want so it looks like they have everything back online I don't know if I set things on fire again, but they're really prioritizing repairing all of those systems, which is a good idea. Please don't firebomb. Oh, they firebomb me in my cloaking. That's not good. Okay. Go ahead and vent the air out of there. I should be able to get a cloak off, though, before that burns to a crisp. Okay, at least I hit them. And I'm trying to line up this mini beam to hit those three rooms. I don't know if I'm going to hit that slug. But you learn with the bio beam for the slugs that if you have if you hit the room, you have to hit the actual tile the person's standing on. So that's gonna delay their weapon charging. That's just way too much fire. And that's what the fire bomb does. So I don't know if the fire oh the fire actually went out in time, so that's good. And I can jump away if I want to, but this ship is uh while scary, not particularly dangerous. Because it has two shields. If it had three shields, that'd be a totally different story. But they are repairing the crap out of their ship. I'll actually let them surrender. Because I don't want Halberd beating things to go bad, and that's a decent scrap reward. Just keep going this way. As my crew of two, I really should have repaired, though. Boy, oh boy, I should have repaired. Oh, that was... And I'm getting mind controlled. Okay. That could have been the misplay that cost me this run right here, because... 
yeah, my weapons are getting attacked now. I don't have good cloaking, I was just eager beaver, I guess you could say. And because this mind control, we learned last time that mind control actually does not care whether or not you have door access. So this guy's actually going to be able to walk in and attack my pilot. Which is pretty bad because that big missile is coming and it's not going to stop. See, there we go. So Butters is already under attack. I'm getting laser. That's too many beams. So the one thing that I'm really scared about right now is for some... Wait, did he just transport my person on there? I don't know where Maxim is. I guess Maxim... No, Maxim's here. So they cut off the mind control or the mind control failed. Alright, well we'll just... We'll just trap you in here. Kind of separate the crew out. So I still want to fire on you. These have all got a hit. There we go. So let's see if I can take out their cloaking too. Let's hit shields, weapons, cloak. Please do something good. Yes, I took out their missile launcher right as it was about to fire. I don't know if you saw that light up, but right now... Right now this is going pretty well because they cannot punch my two shields unless that's a, a big heavy laser, but oh, for some reason my people are not breathing. Hmm. Should probably work on that. And I don't have a med base, so I've really got to watch that. Okay, that's two shots. Not going to have a better opportunity to cloak, so I might as well cloak that. And remember, I don't have infinite dodge with cloaks, so... Let's go ahead and do... Can I actually hit the shield and the cockpit? Yes, I can. So I'm getting mind controlled again. Unfortunately, unfortunately, with the lack of air, this guy may be dead. I don't know. I'd rather him shoot down my oxygen system. Actually, no, I'd rather him not shoot down my oxygen system. Because I am going to have to repair at some point. If anything, maybe I should let him take out my piloting. I don't know. This is not good. Maxim may be dead. I may be losing my entire original crew here before too long. But I will let him sacrifice himself to the uh, O2. And please don't be me. Okay, so they're repairing their weapons like fiends. Their shields are repaired. Can I kill them in time? Always the essential question. And Maxim's dying, Butters is dying. I'm gonna have to just go ahead and try and repair the med bay and sacrifice my cockpit. That's just what I'm gonna have to do, as much as I don't like it. So two shots. We're gonna save that cloak. So they're not cutting off their mind control here. Oh, damn, that was good timing on the cloak. So. I really do not want Maxim to die for lack of air, but because of the way the computer's running him around, Maxim's dead. Okay. I am down. Down, down, down here. So, let's see. Your poor decisions on my part include, actually. Oh, wait, they actually hacked my med bay. Even better. You know what that means? That means I cannot win this unless I jump out right now. So, Maxim, you have died in vain. I have no air. And the... Oh, man. Oh, my God. We're dead! All the crew members have died! Oh, I should have jumped out when I had a chance. I hastily, hastily, hastily jumped into danger, but all the crew members have died. Your ship will continue to drift for eternity until looters destroy it. Let's look at the stats. Unfortunately, no new unlocks. And the Widow, which was doing okay, just... I never really got the weapons. I kept losing crew... Mind control's fun, though, because the enemy just ran him through the airless rooms until he died. So that's good. At least the uh, slugs get to scrap me and the slug overlords get to live on. No new stats here. 700 scrap, and I would say that a good 100 plus scrap went into ship repairs, which is a bad sign. But still, not terrible. Kind of just fun stuff to go through uh, my first run on the stealth. I'm not sure what run I'm going to do next here, but at least for now... That's one ship unlocked, no new ship unlocks here. We'll see if we can maybe prioritize unlocking some new loadouts in the next episode. But for now, that's it. You can laugh at my plight and misfortune because, you know what, that was some bad RNG on the one hand. On the other hand, some poor captaining, but what's hard mode for but to punish your mistakes? That's it for now. See you next time.